I gotta balance school and everything on top of this. It's pretty crazy, but I'm trying. This is totally like self-absorbed to say, but I feel like a superhero. Like everyone's like praising this song, like listening to it up like up in the halls and it, it was played in space, I think. And I just have to stay quiet about it. Like, um, wow, yeah, yeah, I made this and it's incredible. But um, right now is it's time for math. So I don't, I can't talk about it to anyone, you know? It was a sound font test for Pokemon Black and White. I made this in GarageBand. I was just testing out new sounds on my computer. It was just a little orchestral project that I made and then forgot about for a few months. I had some lyrics in my head. I was like, I need a melody for these. What would be a good melody? So I'm sifting through old like GarageBand projects and I find this old sound font test. I'm like, hey, this is really good. I'm going to put a beat to this. So I kind of put down the lyrics I already had, made up some new ones, added a bunch of fun sound effects and put it out, not expecting like one person to listen to it. Maybe I put it on my TikTok, like, hey, mutuals, maybe please try listen to my song. And I was expecting probably a hundred plays at most. And it, it wasn't a hundred plays. <laughs> I'm on a sugar crush, I ain't got no fucking cash Maybe I should take a bath, cut my fucking brain a half I had eaten a lot of sugar that day, I felt like crap I ain't got no fucking cash, I, I didn't <laughs> I was considering having a bath because I felt like maybe it would make me feel better. And it totally did. T take a bath, guys. I'm not lonely, just a bit tired of this fucking shit. Nothing that I write can make me feel good. I totally don't mind being alone. I work best alone, but I'm tired of this fucking shit. I'm tired of the pandemic, you know? Because I mean, who isn't? Nothing that I write can make me feel good it is basically just expressing how... I don't like what I'm writing. It's not like expressing my emotions correctly. Like I'm not able to get it out correctly, what I'm trying to say. Victim of the great machine in love with everything I see. Neon lights surrounding me. I indulge in luxury. The great machine is capitalism, right? I really like spending money and I like buying stuff. I fall very easily for like colorful flashy advertisements big billboards with stuff on it all of this stuff telling me to consume and i'm falling for it and so i'm a victim of the great machine i indulge in luxury is exactly how it sounds i buy a lot of stuff that i don't need everything i do is wrong except for when i hit the bong hit the bong hit the bong feel good during the summer i used smoking as just like an escape method from everything when i'm smoking i don't have to buy anything i don't have to do schoolwork and it it feels so simple that it's the only thing that i can do right every other aspect of life i'm messing up except for this feeling shitty in my bed didn't take my fucking meds hyper pop up in my ears everything just disappears hyper pop as a genre it's regular pop music but it's sort of making fun of pop music and it's sped up and it's fast and it's crazy and um a lot of trans people are into it. Don't wanna be someone else, just don't wanna hate myself, I just don't wanna hate myself, instead I wanna feel good. Deep down, it's really referencing my dysphoria, and I've heard like a lot of trans people say that they feel like they're born in the wrong body and they wish they could be someone else. I don't feel like that at all. I'm who I meant to be. I wanna get rid of that self-hatred that I have for myself and sort of become accepting. It's strange because it's such like a personal thing to me, but taken out of context, it's something that pretty much anyone could relate to, which I think is really beautiful. I love the fact that I've been able to touch so many people like that. Where to now? Got the rest of my life just laid out. Got the rest of my life to fuck around. Got the rest of my life to make sound. Before making Sugar Crash and like all of this happening, I really didn't know where I was gonna go in my life. I had just been laid off from my job. I felt kind of hopeless and lost and I didn't know what direction I was gonna go in. It's just that optimistic reassurance that I have an entire life ahead of me. I'm very young and I've got the rest of it to fuck around and make sound. <laughs> 
I'm currently working on an EP and I'm probably gonna do another one after that. Hopefully an album too. Aside from that, I do wanna work on like other genres because outside of hyper pop, I make folk music and I really love making folk music. I just wanna make sound. I don't really wanna be boxed into a certain genre for my whole life. I wanna experiment. <laughs>